Dulce e Decorum Mest is a work poem written by Wilfred Owen, one of the most significant work poets during First World War. The central part of the poem deals with the terrible new chemical weapon of the war, gas. The scene is revealed as a nightmare with men drawing in a green sea of gas. Let's talk about it. There had been significant scientific progress in chemistry during the Second Industrial Revolution. Some experiments in combination of elements have improved our ways of living our lives. On the other hand, that power was not for everyone, and it destroyed families and generations. The two most common gases used during First World War were phosgene and eprite. Phosgene was invented in 1812 by John Davy, an English chemist used it for the first time for coloring textiles. It's a compost of chlorine, carbon and oxygen. Phosgene is a colorless gas and it is highly toxic due to its ability to react with proteins in the alveoli of the lungs disrupting the blood air barrier leading to suffocation. Phosgene was first used in 1915 by the German army and then a year later by Italians. The most widely used mustard gas could kill by blistering the lungs if inhaled in large quantities. Its effect on a mass soldier, however, was to produce terrible blisters all over the body, even though they were uniforms. It was discovered uh, uh, later by another English chemist, Samuel Godfrey, who mixed chlorine and sulfur. And what was the solution? Gas masks were developed in the First World War to protect soldiers from the effect of chlorate gas. This gas mask was born by 21-year-old Levi Cox from Texas. 